Hey folks, how you doing? I'm in zombie land. Let me fix my backdrop, uh, which obviously the green screen is not working too well, uh, given the fact that I look like a weird alien. I'll go to the beach and try to make it a little bit nicer. There we go. Uh, I'd like to be seen, no offense. There we go. All right, so I have a green screen, sue me. Anyway, uh, folks, I'd like to invite all of you that have come to join. I see uh, Beverly is on, welcome Beverly. Uh, I can't hear you, nor can I hear myself. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Uh, apparently, Beverly's upset. Uh, anyway, um, so I'm here to talk to you guys about uh, my daughter who passed away, but really to apply for the Andrew Yang job. Um, what I'd like to do is kind of give you an overview of the things that I have uh, done and some of the things that um, I believe are important for people to... Uh, understand. So anyway, about me, my name is Brian Matthew Mannix. I was born March 13th, 1972. Um, I, uh, I had a daughter. Hey, Pops. I had a daughter who passed away. Um, <laughs> hey, <yeah. laughs> thing. hey, Dad, uh, if you could mute your thing, it would be helpful. Um, anyway, I just wanted to kind of give a showcase. I wanted to start by reading. Uh, let me see if I can figure out how to share a screen. Hopefully you can see this. If I share, can you guys now see the true gentleman? Thumbs up, yes, no, uh, not yet, but wait. What about now, can you see it? Well, the true gentleman is the model that I learned at SAE, Sigma Alpha Epsilon in college. And it meant a lot to me, it was the, uh, it was the model of the fraternity and here it is. The true gentleman by John Walter Whalen, VO-OM 1899. The true gentleman is a man whose conduct proceeds from goodwill and an acute sense of propriety and whose self-control is equal to all emergencies, who does not make the poor man conscious of his poverty, the obscure man of his obscurity, or any man of his inferiority or deformity, who is himself humbled if necessity compels him to humble another, if necessity compels him to humble another, who does not flatter wealth, cringe before power, or boast of his own possessions or achievements, who speaks with frankness, but always with sincerity and sympathy, whose deed follows his word, who thinks of the rights and feelings of others rather than his own, and who appears well in any company, a man with whom honor is sacred and virtue safe. Now that was, now there's Andrew Yang, God forbid we showed that. Uh, there's, did you see any of that folks? Did you see that, Dad? Were you able to see what I just put on? No, the screen share is not working. All right, so let me try it again. Oh, did I just leave? All right, it says I am screen sharing. So here was the, uh, can you see it now? Here is the uh, true gentleman. Anyway, I wanted to go through and just kind of share a little bit of my life because uh, it's gotten so out of control and people are so nervous about me that I figured it might be a good idea to kind of share some stuff so that people knew what was going on and uh, who I am. So we'll start with Mannix Lab Productions, which is my company, which I've miserably failed at. I mean, miserably, my mouse doesn't work. My kids would tell me to get a, uh, a, a mouse that worked. Now uh, I'll hear you. I can, hear you now. can you hear me now? I can hear you, you couldn't hear me? Yeah, now I can. Okay, good. There's only two people on the screen, you and me. I know, I wish I could get you up and it could just be me, but I don't know how to work Zoom because I've hardly ever used it because I have no life. But anyway, here it is, making your mark. So just listen, Dad, just listen. Um, and remember, this is going out to a lot of people. So just be on your best behavior. Um, and I did listen. I know you did, you're the man, Dad. Anyway, web mobile design business solutions, the same man that Andrew Yang used in his cover letter when he originally started his website video production, blah, blah, blah. None of this stuff matters to me, uh, but I'm just trying to get the, a job with Andrew Yang. So I figured <laughs> I might as well show some of the stuff that I can do. Branding, this is my Scobbit and Fremtids, the alternate reality game for education that I started, which is right here, I think. There's a video of it, uh, Stage and the Frog Prince. These are uh, original people. This is a video playing in the background on my Mannix Lab website, uh, but this is it's going too fast. So you can't read it. But um, this is pretty cool. Um, this uh, Raybot spiders thing that I came up with, uh, I came up with a whole storyline 
Uh, the robot spiders believe the corruption will forever change humans' perceptions. It's too fast. One man disagreed. This is his story. Who's that one man? Eddie Singh, right? Recovered from Google Glass. And this was something that I recorded and gave mom uh, as, a, as a Mother's Day present, which was one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. And I, this was from a haagen thing when I was living at the Avalon across the street from one of the greatest men in the world, uh, Richie Kanata. And this was the video that I made back in the day, which started uh, an alternate reality game in over 40, it was like 44 countries. That's from uh, uh, Alexis Ohani, and that's the front bottoms. Uh, these are just stories from my life. Anyway, this is my website, manixlab.com. If you wanna look at it, it has a whole bunch of stuff about my teaching, my 14 years of teaching. Um, it has technology, it has everything. The connected classroom, the GoBros, there's Obama for some reason. Uh, I'm not sure why he's there. Uh, there's my classroom with the first probably Netflix in all the world. We made, there's Angela C. Hopefully you don't know her last name, but she made a uh, thing. And here's the bot. Here's the app that we never, I never finished. I never had made, even though we had the whole thing done. And these kids, the GoBros, and I say the GoBros, I don't mean the twin, the Asian twins. The Lord knows I hate Asian people. I mean, I'm trying to work for Andrew Yang. Of course I do. Anyway, these talented kids. So this was the, this thing in the middle was the uh, it was a bullying app. We created the bullying app, and this was uh, my radio shows that I did when I was a teacher. Anyway, blah blah blah. There's a lot of stuff on here. I was a technology staff developer, but this isn't about me. It's about my daughter Anna, and I'll get to that in a second. This was something I created for my dad. Dad, this is what I created for you, and I thought you were gonna die, and I figured like Aunt Mary. Um, this is life strings. You've read a lot of this. You said it changed your life. Well, I mean, God forbid we called it COVID life strings and everyone just sent nice things to their families or their friends before they, um, before they did anything. Here's Robert Daniel Vickers. Rob, did you know how I love to talk to you? And my family knows how I love to write. Well, you might be scared as to how long I can make this tribute. Rob, you are a brother from another mother, that's for sure a person whom I'm sure I've walked this earth with before, and a person of such wonderful talent and humanity, the mind is boggled by how many, so many feats can come from one man. And this is so true. This man is the most talented man. And I look like Brian Engel there. That's Rob Vickers. Uh, you can blow this up. There's one for Aiden. Aiden, you are the gerund, <laughs> always becoming, always growing. Here's one for mom. There's Sarah Covert. Let's see if we get a picture of Sarah. This is like the Mona Lisa. This is in my apartment, which I could show you if I weren't too scared to show you the rest of my apartment. Anyway, you can give tributes to people that you know and love. I gave one to Biagio, a friend of mine who uh, I met through Dave uh, and he passed away recently. And so I wrote some nice things about him. I wrote stuff about Leonardo or my mom and I put little clips. Here's one. I believe this is the sound of music. My mom's never seen this because she's not on Facebook. Here's one for my dad, words cannot convey. And I wrote a long thing. Here's Melissa who I'm in love with, the rainbow that I needed. How can you not be in love with Melissa? There's a, one of the greatest pictures of my mom I've ever seen. And I, this used to be my, my phone. And I wish I could get it back. Let's open this up. You guys gotta see this picture of my mom. Oh, it doesn't work naturally. Oh, I made one mistake, sorry. Uh, anyway, whatever, back to, the, back to Anna my 11 year old daughter who died today, but was born tomorrow. So, I mean, she was still born. Anyway, back, so back to Maddox Lab Productions, or not Maddox Lab Productions, I'm lost now. Technology staff development, so whatever. Leadership, I was a trustee. I've done a lot of stuff. I, I started the company that failed. Oh, Andrew knows nothing about that. Mudugu, which is a great idea, which never came off. Maddox Lab Productions, which I made a small amount of money doing, which I should have made a lot more from. Eddie's thing in the 31 days, God forbid where that takes us. Oh, that's me. And uh, I don't know, but it's now called the ban list, which I have to change back to Eddie Singh in 31 days. And quite frankly, if you're on, uh, okay, Google, play American Split by the ban list on Spotify. I bet it doesn't work because they never understand the band. I look for American Split by the band list on Spotify, but it either isn't available or can't be played right now. It is available. Watch this. Watch, I'm going to go to Spotify and just introduce you to one, what I think is the, one of my best albums of all time, if not my best album. Uh, I finally joined Spotify, which I hate, no offense, Spotify. I probably don't even know how to log in, to be honest, so it might be just pointless. Um, I think it's under Red Leader, but I don't really know. I have a lot of accounts. Uh, let's try again. 
And if it doesn't come on, well, you can hear my song some other time, but you can check it out on Spotify as American Split, or God forbid, we play the, uh, the beginning of the video and I find it somewhere. Cause it's a, uh, can't even spell YouTube wrong, can't get the job. Obviously, anyway, this is my album, uh, which I made, uh, let's search YouTube. I don't even know what it's called anymore, to be honest. But if I do this, it should come up because this is what it used to be called. And here's the video of one of the greatest songs I think I've ever heard. This is the voice of the Lord. This is the voice of the Lord. This is the voice of the Lord. This is Right, and I that's a guy who's a photographer, that's a guy who hated me, that's a guy who cursed me out after the store was broken into. I mean, it was amazing. Ferguson, I was down there, bro, right in the midst of it. And why? Because I, I was a teacher. Right, I was a teacher, and I realized I could uh, teach me to go into my. Uh, I couldn't go into my uh, whatever. Uh, I couldn't go you into. Have to do it when you're when you're sharing a screen. What's that? Say again, Beverly. No, I I want to lower the volume, but it doesn't seem to work when it's on a screen share. Oh, but you hear it, and it's you, at least you can see the screen share. Oh yeah, we can see everything. I'm just trying to make it lower, but I can't get the volume thing to come up while you're screen sharing. I got gotcha. you. Sorry. I don't know how to do it. I mean, it can be done. I just don't know. How yeah, to do it. I don't know. You probably just have to adjust something. Anyway, here's AR Media Press, which you guys to worry about me posting to Facebook. What about this one? Hoda's 2020 today, the ticking clock. I mean, talk about good logo design, it's scary. It says one zero, which is my one zero. You can, if I scan this thing right now, who knows where it's gonna take me to probably the President Trump's uh, old office. The AR Media Press editorial board is concerned. Imagine if the lead headline of the Dem debates in this hot summer of 2019 was, Senator Sanders called for healing in the immigration system and a warm open arm to pry out the dead cold hand of the National Rifle Association. Imagine the anger of the hashtag NRA, social media propaganda saying what the membership would respond. The real question, however, is why are the Democrats really even discussing issues when the 2020 election in November will not be like any other? Oh, I wasn't right about that. Anyway, okay, Google, talk to Brian Mannix, Higher Dynamic. Okay, let's get Brian Mannix, Higher Dynamic. It's working on like four different Brian levels. Mannix, and okay, I Google. Talk to Brian Mannix, higher than that. Yes, I say the world is changing pretty for that. Hopefully, you're here because you are looking for someone to help your business increase its efficiency, explore new ways of operating, and most of your objectives. If you're interested, okay, well, shut up. Okay, Google, talk to Brian Mannix, higher dynamic. Hey, so glad you stopped by. My name is Brian Mannix, and I am looking to partner with a company that is looking to deliver quality products and services to consumers who demand only the best from the businesses they interact with. I want to help you achieve your mission and contribute to bringing each element. Yeah, I, think I can mash on. Gotta, you got to mute your thing, objectives. Dad. Dad, you got to mute your thing. If you're thing. interested, you can explore my <clears throat> interactively by saying list of jobs list of skills leadership experience personal interests or education if you're feeling you can, lucky, this you can ask me hours. whatever question is on your mind it's ridiculous from the young 2020 campaign OCD. just say young 2020 just spell it wrong i say yang 2020 thank you for checking out my bot i am so glad you are here I sincerely want to do everything I can to make sure that Andrew Yang wins the Democratic primary and goes on to victory in the general election. Never before have I been so moved by a candidate and the promise of the ideas and the ideals incorporated within your campaign. I very much want to ensure that my children reap the benefits of these ideas and make sure that I have done everything that I can to making this dream a reality. That's for sure. If you would like to hear what Andrew I believe Yang I can Mayor. bring to the campaign, you can say, get out the vote, the competition, bridging the digital divide, mobilizing the millennials, campaign infrastructure or fundraising. Competition.
The competition is going to be fierce, littered with more experienced This was politicians. before the 2020 election Part of your when challenge I was trying is to get utilizing a, a job the reason many in were drawn Iowa to Trump in the first Andrew place. Yang. He was so from Yang. outside of Washington. I don't Washington. think you heard this. Zach Graham, I don't know if you heard it. For over 30 years, congressional Hilo, satisfaction ratings have been at rock bottom levels and satisfaction with Washington is at an abysmal job. level on both sides of the aisle. If I have to. Your focus money. must include a systematic change above and beyond UBI to make Congress a working institution again. The big three competitors on the inside are going to be Senator Sanders, former Vice President Biden, and Senator Elizabeth Warren, and possibly Senator Harris or Senator Booker. I didn't even mention Joe Biden. You can Joe say Biden Bernie anymore. Sanders, Joe Biden, Elizabeth Warren, Kamala Harris, or Cory Booker. Kamala Harris. Andrew Yang and Senator Harris, I believe, have a decent amount in common. You are both fresh faces. You are both heavily left-leaning. You are both fighters and willing to take dynamic approaches to solutions. I think she is the institutional dark horse that you have to worry about, given that she is smart, sure. is a senator, she is a woman, and knows how to mobilize and gain president. television exposure. <laughs> Again, I think here you have to focus on the fault line and paint her as being inside the tent, whereas you not outside the institutional tent, but a bridge between those in and outside the tent. She has the youth, she has the looks, but needs to be painted as someone who is certainly not willing to go as far as Andrew Yang, who does not see the problems as you do, and is more reactive than the entirely proactive Yang campaign. You can say Sanders, Warren, Biden, or Booker, or you could explore bridging the digital divide, mobilizing the millennials, campaign infrastructure, or fundraising. Joe Biden. Joe Biden is a formidable opponent now my brother and someone doesn't who could think end up winning I, I, the nomination. He thinks I need to be more simple. He is a fighter my through and through that, and bleeds uh, a red, white, and you know, blue I'm heart. Guy, my advice would be to I paint him as being an answer talents. from the past, one that has already been tested and failed. A pale version of President Obama, no pun intended, and oh, someone who could serve as a foil to Trump. But he to beat Biden, the you must like paint Matthew Trump, Biden, me. Sanders, and Warren as a different species who live in the world that was. You must here. paint him as out of They're touch with the asleep. youth, the digital divide, and someone who is a man of great integrity, but someone who does not have the creative and necessary solutions for the generation that is faced with a world where we cannot even have a clue about what jobs will look like and certainly how to educate young people the way we have in the past for specific career positions. You know that the tech industry knows that, but to beat Biden, you need to frame that essential proposition, the unknown future, the importance of adaptability and of the uniquely human ability to adapt and pivot in advance of those inevitable changes in both our economy and our world. You can say Sanders, Warren, Harris, or Booker, or you can also explore bridging the digital divide, mobilizing the millennials, campaign infrastructure, or fundraising. Campaign infrastructure, and then I'll do one more weird one, and then I'm going to wrap this up soon and talk about my daughter. Campaign infrastructure. The young 2020 campaign infrastructure must be agile and lean, yeah. but most importantly, it needs to utilize adaptive learning to be able to target what voters are interested in even before they are approached with a particular policy solution. By combining your wide and deeply innovative approach to issues, I believe that the campaign structure should be set up so that each and every volunteer, worker, and mobile ad should be adaptive and dynamic. Sculpt your message based on the person's interests, which you should openly ask people to input both online and off, and be ready, and train every staffer to be ready to alter the approach and the presentation based on I the individual's interests. The database Andrea. that I believe All will help you win the Democratic nomination is one that stores not just names and numbers, but key That's interests, which are amplified right by a smart outreach communication system that tailors each up. message no and idea. campaign like initiative to each supporter's particular idea. interests. In other words, I don't Mr. think you should ever write one summary newsletter that I'm goes out to that. everyone on your list. There should be as many narratives and outreach initiatives as there are policy positions on your site. Use the AI to sculpt personalized messages based on a brief survey via typeform of those who have visited your campaign. That way, you can truly be the voice for all of your constituents' individual issues and use that adaptive and personalized AI machine to serve the needs of the citizens once you win. That would be a different kind of representative of the people. I would bet that I am one of the few people who honestly believes in every single one of your policy initiatives. 
Most Democrats will not and certainly, once you win the nomination and if you hire me, you will win the nomination. You will have to approach voters, not well, as a Democrat, but as an individual who shares the their job. hot button issue. Why is that? You have public positions on tons of hot button issues, many that more than I've seen from any candidate. Mom. This transparency gives you flexibility to reach just about everyone based on their personal interests. You can say get out the vote, the competition, bridging the digital divide, mobilizing the millennials, or fundraising. List of jobs. Sorry, Brian Mannix's higher dynamic ah, isn't responding right now. Google is Please broken. Please try again soon. Oh, uh, look at that. You can talk to the thing for like six hours, but Google is broken. I want to show you one video from Cameo that I, uh, I don't know if I, maybe I have to do it on my phone, maybe. I don't have my phone on me, shockingly sick. Anyway, I wanted to show some cameo videos that I got from uh, from whoever. This is the rest of the video. I won't play the whole thing. That's why the police always use their cloud, dude. That's the guy who's very scared. That's the guy with an AK-47 that they made. That's the guy with an AK-47 that they made. And they blocking out the good, that's the sad part. That's love. Second song. This guy was a phony, I think. He said he was in charge of the whole thing, but I don't believe so. Uh, God forbid I get Spotify. I mean, what's wrong with what? Why is my album like banned from Spotify? I can't even log in. I don't even know how to do it, to be honest. I'll try Manic Spot. Who knows? There we go, finally. All right, so American Split. And by the way, I'm playing the Bruce Springsteen song. So this is a song that I've hired Richard Kanata at a deep, 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 deep discount uh, thing. It's not playing. Uh, I don't know why it's not playing. Maybe because, uh, I don't know. But uh, anyway, this is a beautiful song. This is like a really well-produced song that Richard Kanata's uh, group produced. And uh, I think it's a set of professional audio settings. I'll try to do that now, but I'm not gonna. So uh, I don't know why it's not playing right now uh, and why I can't hear it, but uh, it looks like my audio out is uh, messed up. So let's see if I can change the audio out in Chrome. I don't, even think I, I don't even know to go and what, to be honest. It's going to take too long. Anyway, back to the story. So Moonlight Summer Dance, Richie Kanata of Billy Joel fame is going to play saxophone on the uh, second song on uh, Tuesday night at 8 p.m., assuming I'm sober, which, of course, I will be, duh. And, uh, and uh, I have the money to pay him, which at this point I don't have. So <laughs> we'll see. But this, My America, is a good song. This is the album. This My America if it was reproduced would be the best song, in my opinion. Um, I can't, my computer's like failing right now. Uh, maybe I have too many tabs open, God forbid. So we'll get rid of AR Media Press. The rules are for AR Media Press participants or do no harm, question authority, challenge existing structures and institutions that no longer fit in this world, expose wrongdoing, celebrate action, report the news and make it. That's the AR, AR Media Press motto. And here's a whole bunch of stuff if I get my mouse to work, which I can. Um, and the, there we go. So I have a bunch of, I have a bunch of articles uh, on this thing that I've been doing for years. I gave up on it like a year ago. I think American Split. I was gonna do POTUS 2020 today. Oh, it's not private? Jesus, yeah, because I probably didn't buy the HTTPS certificate. But I bought POTUS20.today. Uh, I was going to do it for everyone. We have editorials, features, trumptowers.tv, which I own. Uh, I'll show you a flip of this, but it's probably dangerous. Indictment Stone. Look Good evening. I look My name is Brian Mannix, and you are watching the Indictment Stone. <clears throat> this is the AR Media Press production. I will be reading over. the indictment, unwrapping the indictment of uh, not Oliver Stone, not JFK, not the Lost Horizon, but Something well, something that well, this is artistic new, license. Down we're too tired for Russian romance, you know what I mean? So, the question after this indictment will be how does the FBI 
take the president of the United States, a Russian traitor, into custody mm, without militarily about. seizing you him. You guys think like Facebook and books are bad? if that's the case, then didn't Vladimir Putin really already win World War Three? Boom, we'll go to the I end. Talk with Michael Cohen for hours on it. But it seems that AI Media Press, well, we're not quite there yet. We're not at the 20-minute mark, so perhaps we go back to the reading. But perhaps the viewers... The thousands of viewers that will see this tape one day <laughs> will joking. understand no that the FBI, up. Lordy, is going to have to take the United States president, Donald Trump. The military is going to have to take him, oh, incarcerate right. him, this was try him before. under the Supreme Court for treason in, against the United States of America. So Get yeah. ready, folks. Ante up. You're listening to Brian Maddox playing Jim Fistuckler <laughs> on AI Media Press <laughs> and TrumpTowers.tv. See you next week. Or later tonight. Boom. If my whole family doesn't stop me, because my whole family, every time I post videos, calls the police and says I'm unwell, and then I'm taken to a mental institution. It's fun, really, especially when I'm this smart and I've been so patient with my family. It's unbelievable. Um, here's the CODIS candidates. What is the single biggest issue confronting you? I, I had journalistic porn on this thing. For a while, I was doing, I was doing like a little fan club of uh, basically MSNBC, to be honest. Let's see what piece is. Is there anything? Probably empty. Oh, donate $1. Can you even do it? I'll donate one if I can. Probably can't, can't. Anyway, back to, what was the last thing? Oh, peace crap. This is sort of important for my daughter, who this was supposed to be about, uh, who was uh, passed away 11 years ago today. She was still born. She was born tomorrow uh, or later on tonight. And I kid you not, I called my mom to try to tell her what had happened after our baby had died in birth at nine months. And she came out, I was thought she was gonna be like blue or terrible or whatever, like looking, I was horrified. And she looked like a perfect baby, it was amazing. She looked like, a, like she was alive. So this is my idea for Peacecraft. This is the idea that my brother Dan, who of CSM fame and lead dog marketing fame, thinks is a terrible idea. It's now not, it's 196 countries, but well, this might be right, but obviously it didn't start. But God forbid you watch this video, man, uh, take some notes and then I can finish up with Anna. Hopefully this will work. It's simple. We can't do it. Peace for one day throughout the whole world it will never happen. There's too much anger, too much bloodshed, and too many memories of the divisions of the past. See, I'm lying. I'm saying then I got to think. So many people think that nothing is possible. But in the United States Senate, it takes 51 votes out of 100 to pass the bill. However, the bill in the Senate, if the one minority. individual opposes the bill, they need 60 votes to quiet that person down. And that person can go on talking for as long as they like. So essentially, it is harder to defeat the voice of one man who refuses to give in than it is to pass a bill entirely. Currently, on September 21st, the United Nations has designated an International Peace Day, where they attempt to get every true, country in the world for all. one day to lay down their arms. The this the can Nations never so happen so under the current structure. But if we utilize the concept of the filibuster and turn it towards peace, we can create something that has never been seen before, one nation at a time in an effort to bring peace to this world. One country for one day, a peace filibuster, 196 days in a row. We don't stop until every country is ensured that they can have one day to celebrate peace. We start in the land of independence and the home Maybe of the not. free, the United States of America. We already have the schedule. And once the partying's done in the United States and the biggest celebration that we've ever had, we throw it to Canada. And after our Canadian friends show the world how much they love peace through their celebrations, maybe they pass it to their friends in England. After Great Britain shows all that they're thankful for and brings peace to this world through song, you guessed it, they throw it somewhere else. Who's got it? Let's say Australia. One by one they come, one nation at a time, in the name of peace, 
for one day until the entire globe is covered with one nation, one peace. We are to support the world after every country has had one day of peace. We move on to the continent, achieving one day of peace in every continent. That's only like saving and maybe, just problem. maybe, if we refuse to let go of the song of peace through a sonic filibuster, maybe, just maybe, we can have one day on this earth where there is no war. So how do we do it? We, we take all the citizens, back, all the peacemakers, and we ask them one question. Not can we do it? We ask them, what's your verse? We make sure so every facet of society is involved with business leaders, politicians, leaders of faith, and scholars in science, moving forward to make this day the biggest celebration of humanity that we've ever seen. For the PeaceCraft Sonic Filibuster, we leverage social media, making this the most broadcast event in world history. On multiple platforms, we implement PeaceCraft, the alternate reality game, an immersive experience online and off. So let's get the politicians on board. Yeah, there's Trump, Obama, Biden. Let's get our news media on board. Let's get our musicians on board. Let's get the people that make things on board. Let's get our entertainment industries on board. Let's bring our children on board. Let's get religious leaders from our churches, our temples, and our mosques on board. Let's get our scientific community on board. Let's get the average citizen on board. And let's peace craft us a sonic filibuster that's going to bring peace to every country for 196 days. Peacecraft.us, a sonic filibuster, because war is not a game. The question is not whether we can do it. The question is, what's your verse? Sign up today at Peacecraft.us to share your verse and get this party started. Now I played that like when my son on his first birthday I played that exact note and my son somehow my son somehow basically picked up the piano am I still on that No. Did I go blank? Uh, I hope not. Yes or no? Can you still hear me? Papito, you're muted. Uh, can, I, can you still hear me, Papito? Thumbs up if you can hear me. Thumbs down if you can't. All right, good. And can you can see just me or the video too. Did you see that last video? Thumbs up or thumbs down, I can't hear you. You saw that last video? Awesome. So I got seven minutes to talk about my life. I want a job with Andrew Yang. I don't care what it is. I don't care if I have to make $4. I don't care if I have to be paid less than, than uh, I think I have enough talents, which I hope this thing shows. And I'm a nice enough guy and stable enough guy that I can pretty much do anything. Uh, and I can't, I know, I know my limitations. I can't do anything. Uh, here's Andrew Yang. I wrote a thing about him. And here's, we'll read it with that. I thought I saw the future when I read an MIT article. This is tribute to Andrew Yang on, on life strengths, which he never saw. Uh, I thought I saw the future when I read an MIT article about a candidate who gave up on uh, this team. <laughs> right? I read his book. Not anymore, though, because he's going to be mayor. About a candidate for president of the United States. The article was something crazy early, like March of 2018, well before any other candidate had announced their bid for the 2020 presidential election. He sounded unreal, truly unreal, like everything he said made sense. It was just obvious. Stuff like do unto others and whatever other spiritual mechanism this man used to explain the problems that the United States are facing and that the biggest technological, economic and structural structurally political shift that will ever come to pass seemingly, which is the automation of our workplace and the increasing presence, prescience 
of artificial, intel of artificial intelligence. I read the article and was blown away. So I decided to go to his website. I can honestly say that when I got to his policy page with its huge plethora of widely creative and doable ideas right in front of my eyes, tears rolled down my cheeks. It's true, I cried uh, because I thought, holy shit, for the first time in a long time, someone finally gets it. I couldn't believe the creativity and the simplicity of it all. It was truly yin and yang at its best, if you know what I mean. Anyway, after having tears roll down my face, I was determined to do everything in, in my perhaps limited power to help this man become the next president of the United States. And dad, you love that I turned down the job in Iowa, but it was the most painful thing that I ever had to do. And you know it was. And you were proud of me because maybe I made the right decision, but maybe I didn't. All right. Anyway, after having tears roll down my face, I was determined to do everything in my perhaps limited power to help this man become the next president of the United States, Mr. High Low. I was hooked, bought his book, read it, contemplated offering myself, just kidding, Andrew. The book is awesome. With the exception of Yang's ultimate failure to believe in the New York Knickerbockers, a team I will never give up on. And if they get Derek Rose to be their point guard, they will make the Eastern Conference Finals this year. I guarantee you that, um, which I don't even know if that was a rumor I heard or what, but it sounded like a good one. Um, and I will never give up on the team. Does Ewing give up? Oh, and aside, back to the story. This man believes that we should share the wealth a little bit like Huey Long. Huey Long share the wealth platform promised $5,000, a house and a car back, at the, back during the Great Depression. Pretty good idea, no? When things go bad, creative ideas come out. Mr. Yang, hopefully one day, President Yang, if I have anything to do with it, I'm sure you are a patient and loving father and one who recognizes that your lost time with your children due to your decision to run for POTUS was time well spent away from your kids? Because yes, the problems you wish to address are solvable with the humanity dividend and hu human-centered economy. And we are going to lose to the machines if we haven't already. Who knows? But the clock is certainly ticking, Andrew. I, and it still is. And that's why you have to become mayor of New York City so you can run in 2028 or 32. And I'll run as a third-party candidate if I have to pretend I'm Hitler. I hope you enjoy your Father's Day with your two beautiful boys. I, I might have written this on Father's Day. And know that the distance that you may have from them in three years will still be the model of what a great father would do. Peace, Andrew. That's what I've tried to do, Andrew. And I haven't, no one's understood. You know, when I was trustee, and my wife didn't understand and my kids didn't understand why I was doing it. And I was doing it to get the job with you. Anyway, um, I say, I hope you enjoy your Father's Day with your two beautiful boys at two minutes. Uh, and I know the distance that you may have from them in three years will still be the model for what a great father would do. Peace, Andrew, and best of luck. I hope to work for you one day to help make you the next president. We don't have that much time. And Elon's pissed. <laughs> He's not pissed. He's just populating Mars. Duh. I mean, we need a new planet. I've heard of the Columbia Exchange. Perhaps we save Earth by Columbia exchanging with Mars and maybe bringing some water and some food and some semen and some uteruses so we can repopulate the Earth or the, the Mars because we're going to be there in two years and we might as well. Anyway, I got two minutes for my daughter, Anna Kelly Mannix, who has brought me through so much and has taught me so much and has made me do so many incredibly crazy things, like ask everyone who was dead in her cemetery if it was okay if I renounced my citizenship of the United States and burned it, which I did in front of the Lincoln Memorial and then swallowed a burning birth certificate in front of a bunch of scary cops. So yeah, maybe I'm dangerous and I'm dangerous because I'm smart. Andrew, hire me. That's all I have to say. Peace to my daughter, love to my kids who aren't here. Hopefully they'll see this one day. To Brian Engel, to uh, Michelle Engel, to Rob Vickers, to Sean Spillman, my best friend, and to everyone else, and to Melissa and Andrew Conrad, Ryan Starr, thank you so much. I love you guys. Bye-bye.